From this video, you will get tips to prepare for Red Hat Certified Open Shift Administrator Exam, X280. EX280 Exam Overview Why become a Red Hat Certified Open Shift Administrator? EX280 Exam Objectives Preparation Tips Question 1. Install the OpenShift GitOps operator and validate its deployment. Answer. See the solution below. Solution. 1. Install the operator using the CLI. OC apply F. HTTPS colon slash slash raw dot githubuser content dot com slash red hat dash developer slash gitops dash operator slash main slash deploy slash crds slash gitops dash operator dot yaml. 2. Check the operator's deployment status. OC get pods and open shift gitops. 3. Validate the operator's CSV. OC get CSV and OpenShift GitOps. Question 2. Troubleshoot a failed TLS handshake between the ingress controller and a backend service. Answer. See the solution below. Solution. 1. Check the ingress route. OC get root my secure app o YAML 2. Verify the TLS secret. OC get secret my TLS secret and dev namespace 3. Examine ingress controller logs. OC logs and open shift ingress 4. Update the backend service certificates if needed. OC create secret TLS backend TLS cert equals backend cert dot pem key equals backend key dot pem and dev namespace question 3 restrict project creation to specific users validate the restricted behavior for other users answer see the solution below solution 1 Remove the self-provisioner role from all authenticated users. OC Admiral Policy Remove Cluster Role from Group Self-Provisioner System. Authenticated to Assign self-provisioner to a specific user. OC Admiral Policy Add Cluster Role to User Self-Provisioner User 1-3. Validate Restricted Access for Others. OC login new user 2 POC new project restricted project. Question 4. Modify the password policy for HT password users to enforce complexity requirements. Answer. See the solution below. Solution. 1. Edit the HT password file and add complex passwords. HTPASSWD, etc. Origin, HTPASSWD Admin 2. Update the HT password secret. OC create secret generic HTPASSWD secret, from file equals HTPASSWD equals, etc. Origin, HTPASSWDN OpenShift Config 3. Validate by logging in. OC Login U Admin P. Question 5. Use a combination of deployment config and image stream to implement a blue green deployment. Validate the process. Answer. See the solution below. Solution 1. Create two deployment configs, blue and green, OC apply F blue deployment config. 
YAML OC apply F green deployment config. YAML 2. Tag the image stream to switch traffic. OC tag nginx. 1.22 nginx stream. Stable 3. Validate the deployment. Curl HTTP colon slash slash. Question 6. Deploy an application that dynamically provisions storage using a CSI driver. Validate the storage binding. Answer. See the solution below. Solution. 1. Install the CSI driver for your environment, e.g. OS EBS. Ceph. Kubic L apply FCSI driver. YAML 2. Create a storage class that uses the CSI driver. Provisioner. ebs.csi.oz.com3. Deploy a PVC and pod using the storage class. Kubic L apply FPVC and pod. YAML Kubic L exec. LS. MNT. Question 7. Scale an application deployment horizontally to handle increased load. Answer. See the solution below. Solution. 1. Scale the deployment. Kubic L scale deployment nginx deployment, replicas equals 5. 2. Verify the scaling. Kubic L get pods. Question 8. Perform a rolling update of an application to upgrade the Nginx image from 1.19 to 1.21. Ensure zero downtime during the update and verify that all replicas are running the new version. Answer. See the solution below. Solution. 1. Update the deployment. Kubic L set image deployment, nginx deployment nginx equals nginx, 1.21. 2. Monitor the rollout status. Kubic L rollout status deployment, nginx deployment. 3. Verify the updated pods. Kubic L get pods o wide. Kubic L describe pods. Grep. Nginx. 1.21. Subscribe and like pass question.